You see, in programming, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. There are so many different languages, concepts, frameworks, and tools. And besides this, there are all these smart programmers implementing a complex algorithm like it's the easiest thing in the world. While you're still stuck debugging a simple app. I mean, it's tempting to compare your journey to others. To be honest, throughout my coding career, I did this a lot. I compared myself to those I thought were better than me. I just wanted to be as good as them. But there's a problem with that. You see, when you do this, you are focusing on the wrong thing. Namely, someone else's progress instead of your own. Comparing yourself to others in programming is like comparing apples to oranges. I mean, everyone's path is different. That person you admire may have way more experience than you or has been coding in a niche you've never touched before. Seeing them do everything so easily while you're struggling can be really frustrating, especially when your struggle takes longer than you thought it would. So just focus on your own progress instead of someone else's. It doesn't matter if someone else learns a framework in a week and it takes you a month. The only fair comparison is comparing you to yourself. Are you better today than you were yesterday? Yes. Yes, I am. I am. All right then, that's what I wanted to hear. So just track your own progress and set achievable goals. And to be honest, it's easier than ever to learn nowadays. I mean, there are a lot of great courses, articles and podcasts out there. You can even ask ChatGPT questions to make your learning easier. So forget about that smart colleague, focus on your own progress. Just celebrate the small wins, whether it is figuring out how to write cleaner code or successfully debugging a problem. All these small wins add up. You're still the man, bro. But I know it's not always that easy. I mean, another reason we fall into the comparison trap is something called imposter syndrome. You know, this feeling that you don't belong and that you aren't good enough. So how do you know if you're experiencing imposter syndrome? Well, let's compare a normal human being with someone experiencing imposter syndrome. Let's say you've worked pretty hard and you get a promotion. Now a normal person would be happy and proud, but you think that the reason you achieved it is just because of luck, that it's because they like you and not because of your skills and effort. You think that your success is always the result of external factors. Now, to be honest, I've experienced imposter syndrome a lot. Always downgrading my success and thinking that it was just the result of luck. And it's tough to fix this, but really, the key is to catch yourself when you start with this bad way of thinking. It's kind of like catching an exception in programming. I mean, in coding, when an exception happens, it means something went wrong. But instead of letting the program crash, you catch that exception and you do something with it. Now, your mind works in a similar way. Sometimes it throws an imposter syndrome exception at you. You know, those moments when you doubt yourself. But you just need to catch it and deal with it before it wrecks your confidence. And one helpful trick is to look back at your wins, no matter how big or small. Looking back at them will remind you that you've made real progress because of your own hard work, not just because of luck. It reminds you that you are not stupid, that you are able to learn new concepts, frameworks or whatever. And besides this, it's also very important to remember that if you don't know or understand something, then this doesn't immediately mean that you are stupid or a loser. I mean, no one knows everything in programming. The key is to embrace that learning is an ongoing process. Just focus on the fun and learning, nothing more. And don't be afraid to share your struggles and ask questions. I mean, if you do this, you quickly realize everyone is on their own learning curve and helping each other out is how we all get better. So stop comparing, don't give up, just learn. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.